Also, could the workplace shooter have been stopped? New details on security at the warehouse. Local reporting you can trust. You're watching KRQE News 13 at 10. Three people were gunned down by a co-worker this week at the Ben E. Keith Warehouse here in Albuquerque. Today we learned the company had private security a few weeks before the shooting. So where were they the night of the attack? News 13's Marissa Lucero is live at the warehouse on Broadway near Gibson to explain. Marissa. Dean, Jess, that was a big question yesterday. What kind of security measures did the company have in place in order to protect their employees? We spent today digging for answers. Monday night, Albuquerque police say Wade Melton walked into the Benny Keith warehouse on his day off and opened fire, shooting three of his co-workers. The senseless violence that happened in this workplace uh, as the chief said, you know, there are lots of scenarios where this could have been much, much worse. APD Police Chief Mike Geyer called the attack spontaneous by a disgruntled employee who may have been passed up for a promotion. We wanted to know what kind of security measures the Texas-based company had in place at the time of the shooting and if private security was one. Not that I know of. Today, we learned the company had hired the private security company, International Protective Services, known as IPS, for a short time last month, but then stopped services at the end of October, nearly two weeks before Melton carried out his shooting. Thank you for calling the corporate office of Benny Keith Company. We also wanted to know if the decision to hire private security last month had anything to do with concerns over Melton. I'm looking to see who I can speak with um, about the shooting that happened here at one of your guys' warehouse on Monday. One moment. No one from the corporate office ever got back to us, but yesterday APD read a statement from the company. We have a fundamental responsibility to keep our employees and our community safe. The letter went on to say that the company will continue to work with private security in the future. And as you can see right behind me, IPS is back on the property tonight. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Marissa. After Melton left the scene, APD pinged his phone to a remote area near Placitas. They say he killed himself while on the phone with crisis negotiators. As for the victims, all three men are still in, in the hospital, too, in critical condition.